Hello, my name is Adam and welcome to UK Theme Parks and yes, yes before anyone else says we are back at the theme park. So we're not only back at the theme parks, we're back at a theme park I've never ever been to as we are at Robin Hill on the Isle of Wight. Now I've been to the Isle of Wight a few times, not that often, sort of to visit attractions, uh, really twice over the last sort of 25 years. Uh, I've been to Black Gang Chine, um, which will also be featured in the vlog, and this is my first time though to Robin Hill. Whilst we've done other things like uh, the needles, you'll see a vlog for that, and um, I want I want to cross there. I want to cross there. Hang on. Right, am I allowed to cross here? I'm crossing. I'm going. Oh, Jesus, love of my life. I'm okay. Oh my God, this is really bouncy. Feeling it, but we're nearly there. All my life, that's really bouncy. Oh. Okay, looks a tad small to go down there, but don't think I won't venture into there later, especially Squirrel Tower. So yes, anyway, introductions. We are at Robin Hill. Now we've come in today because we want to try the toboggan run and we want to get on obviously the pirate ship and have a good look around. You know, it's a country park, you bring your dogs in. It's a great family day out. Um, and we've done a joint ticket with Black Gang China as well. So you will see a Black Gang China vlog also online. It's early in the morning. There's not that many people there. There's 20, 25 cars out the front. Um, you know, being the Isle of Wight, I guess they're going to be busier during um, August period than what they are now. As we said, it is very children orientated. But I mean, this is lovely. Look at the views up here. So you're 10 metres above ground at this point. As we have a look down here, you'll see exactly how far we are off the ground. So obviously we're going to go check out the adventures that we can go in as adults and we're going to check out the adventures as well for when we bring the children back. Uh, hopefully later on this year, but we'll see, we'll see. I mean, look at this, look, this is brilliant. Look at this trail here. I don't think we can go in there, but I'm telling you now, if we can, I'm going in. I'm going in. So they have Electrica, um, which is their concert, which they have on here every single year as well. They're advertising that for tellies, uh, scouting for girls, pixie lot. Actually, compared to last year, we uh, advertised it on our um, Facebook page last year. Compared to last year's, it's a much, much better lineup. You know, they've got 4D Cinema up the top, which you saw there on the way in. You've got a little stage show area here as well. So, uh, yeah, really can't wait. Really can't wait to see what's in store for us today on this very first time. That's where we were just standing. But we are on the hunt for the toboggan ride. Now, it's cost about £17.50 to get in. Um, we are going to find a toboggan run, which I think is a £1.50 extra charge, but definitely something we need to do. So let's go find it. That's the tower I want to go up on the way back. On my to-do list. <coughs> Yo. Big smacker for the camera. He doesn't like a cool looking cow. Look at this cow. This cow's got wings and golden. So a little train cow express, and I think we're going to head around the corner and see if we can get on the galley. And hopefully it's open. We can see it. Let's go and have a look. Plus us, the pirate ship, the ultimate thrill ship. Actually, it's a bit bigger than uh, the pictures made it look. Kind of thought it was going to be banana boat size, but it's certainly sang in the middle between this and uh, Black Buccaneer. Anyway, I think let's do. Let's get on. It's got to be back seat, isn't it? Ooh.
Colossus Thrill Machine. So there's two rides up here, this one and a little train over the back here. Quick glance over, there's quite a lot of kids, and we'll glance over at the track. And if you couldn't hear, it's themed to cows. Don't mind that, don't mind themed to cows. That's a really good swinging ship, actually. That reminds me a bit of the Jolly Rocker at Legoland. Um, it's not overly powerful, but it's really, really pleasant to just sort of swing backwards and forwards. Not too thrilling, but yeah, good fun, good fun. Took you on for a POV there. Hope you enjoyed that. We are going to try and find the toboggan run, but first we're going to head back down the path and we're going to go and try the maze. Now the maze we can actually see from here and it is definitely a Southport special. Uh, it does look quite confusing though and as you were aware the one in Southport was really really simple and I got lost twice. So let's go see. Head around the corner into the maze. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the map. We're going to take in some of the countryside while we're here. So there's not loads of rides here, but this is a family day out. You know, bring your dogs, bring your kids, uh, come in, have a great laugh. Lots of things to do, lots of activities around, places to eat. Obviously the galley and there, kids ride down the back and swag and run. So head around the corner here and we're going to hit the maze. It's maze time, people. I always get lost in these, and although the Black Gang Chime one is coming up, and that is a big hedge maze, like one of the biggest in the country, this one hopefully is relatively simple, but but I get lost in my own house. So let's go and have a look. Oh, this is already multiple choice. Left or right? I think it's going to be too easy to go right. Let's go left. We're going to go for the outside. We'll go for the outside. You can talk about the landscape, obviously the Isle of Wight is um, renowned for amazing sights, a lot of dead ends um, and a lot of history. That was a really good start there as we go through that. A lot of dead ends and a lot of history and as you know it's a fossil island for dinosaurs. So there's so much here kind of to take in, a day probably isn't enough. I mean we've come to visit the theme parks today uh, which is what we wanted to do. I'm going to go left again. And you know, Robin Hill, so my first impression of it, it just looks beautiful. It's a beautiful looking park. You know, I know, we know, there's not a lot of rides here when we get here, but it's just a beautiful looking park. Um, you know, landscape, the scenery, everything, just gorgeous, gorgeous natural beauty. A um, bit like Portland's Park Gardens, a bit like Alton Towers Gardens, you know, that's kind of what we're, what we're going for here. That is also a dead end. That's two dead ends now, hope you're keeping count. Um, I believe the bridge is halfway. Oh, no, okay, we can go around here. So normally in mazes, I like to take the outside route. That's three dead ends. <laughs> three dead ends. Keeping count. Four dead ends. <laughs> right, okay. So four dead ends and we're not halfway through yet. It's always a worry when you bring me to these things. I still want to go around the outside. Okay, that's five dead ends. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Right, there's the bridge to help you out. Do we need to go up the bridge? That's it. I think that's the actual maze. The actual maze, that doesn't make sense because the entrances are next to each other. So I don't think that works. Right, we're getting up. We're going up to have a look. Ah, right. So we could actually go out here because it's halfway. But we want to get in that ex exit down there because we came in the main exit and then this is what we need to get through. So let's try and work this out. Not in that one. I think I've sussed it. I think I've sussed this. Let's go and find out. Let's go find out. I don't want to come out at the halfway point because quite honestly, that's cheating. And uh, as you know, at Adventure uh, Wonderland, when we cheat there, we come back at the entrance. But not today. We're going to make it through. Two mazes today. I'm telling you now, we're making it through. Five dead ends so far. Now, I think I remember we went... Oh, is it... Left and left. Oh, oh that looks really... Mm, I think by the leaves on the floor that I've already got this wrong. Maybe. Not sure. Nope, it's okay. Just hasn't been swept. It's fine. It's deceiving. Deceiving. Four minutes. Four minutes and counting. Should we go for a record? Should we try it again later and go for a record? 
Don't worry, we weren't going that way. You're not counting that as a dead end. Ooh, going straight on. Going straight on. It's all good. I'll fracking down the back. Still looking a bit grassy down here. Uh, I want to go straight on. Do I want to go straight on? I'll see, I'll see the edge. Yes, 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 yes. So that is the Duck Down Play Village for the Litland. Nice little barn style, obviously we won't be going in there today. Here's the slide actually, we saw this advertised out the front. It doesn't appear to be open at the moment, I don't know whether or not it's opening today. So it's got to be water, isn't it? Let's go down and have a closer look, but I think it is. Here we, here we go, look, it's the uh, Duck Down. Oh, we've got some owls. Ready to attack, look. The slide's opening today, which is a real shame because uh, I'm boiling hot. Sliding down that slide would be hilarious, even in my clothes. But have a quick look at the map here. I still don't know where we are. Which isn't a bad thing, you know, when we come to new theme parks, we get a lot of questions all the time of people saying, oh, well, you know, we can't find our way around Chesington or somewhere like that. And, uh, you know, my children say, oh, why do they not know? But people don't always come to places. But of course, sometimes we come to new theme parks as well. So where's the you are here bit? Falkyrie, so we're up here. So lake's down there. Toboggan Run is right up here, look right by the entrance so we're miles away from that just looks so cool there's a little picnic area again we could do some more tables perhaps but a little picnic area again just looks so cool really does a oh, big red station tractor crossing point don't think there's any tractors oh there is a tractor coming hmm should we get on the tractor 11 o'clock for the first ride on the tractor. That was a good time, and we've walked all the way down the hill. And to save us walking back up, we're going to get a tractor. But we're going to have a look first in the carp lake. And some lovely little ducklings as well. Lots of geese around here, definitely. Yeah, there's the big carp. Now, this is a POV I didn't think you'd see today. I bet you when you turn this video on, a tractor ride was on top of your POV list. Well, it is. Oh, Toboggan Valley, that way. Toboggan Valley's over there. Mm -hmm. Toboggan Valley's that way. So hopefully, there's a bus stop. It's right, we've got a little stop button. Right by the Toboggan, because that's what we're looking for. We're going back in search of the Toboggan. And fingers crossed, that's where it's going to end up. Now it's just stunning. It's just stunning. There it is, the toboggan ride. Oh my God, I cannot wait for this toboggan ride. Let's go have a quick look. Let's go have a quick look. So, toboggan wise, this is the first one I've ever done. Believe it or not, I've never done one of these. Anything like it, nothing, nothing at all. Complete first for me. And I genuinely cannot wait for it. So, hopefully we're gonna take the GoPro and we're gonna give you an on ride of this, but I can't wait. Ollie, Ollie, we're
go. And we're off. Do not stop here. No problems. Slow. Slow. Absolutely incredible, you must do that if you come here. Put 150 aside, make sure you get on the toboggan. We're gonna to head back through now, try and find the cinema. It's normal for most birds to change the colour of their plumage. Uh, some birds do it more, what's the word, a uh, bit more obviously, whereas some are slightly more subtle, so he might get slightly darker or slightly lighter. We're not too sure which one they are yet. But hopefully, he will stay just as pretty. Now, the amazing thing about these species, or one of the amazing things anyway, is that they are completely unique in their coloration. So I've been lucky enough to fly three or four of these guys now. Um, and to be a Tony three, he's one of the darker ones I've flown. I've worked with birds that are fruit buzzards at least that have almost pure white heads. Uh, <laughs> duck for cover there, almost dive off the seat. Uh. Okay, so we couldn't resist one final run on the pirate ship or the galleon. I can't remember what called. Colossus Galleon, Colossus Frill Ride Galleon before we head and try and find a cinema. Now we're going to go back around the corner, we are back at the top of the park. The cafe is just around the corner here, so we have made it back to the entrance area and that's where the cinema is. We are ready to ride 4D, we are sweating. Oh my god, it's hot today, what a beautiful day though. Can't ask for anything else, uh, much rather that than uh, rain. So here's the ride restriction, you've got to be it's got to be 1.1 to ride, that's really weird. Really weird, but let's go and have a look. Journey This is what we're going to go and watch, Journey into the West. That's quite exciting. Can't wait, more people coming in. Wait until the magical door opens, then we're on 4D. Oh, and there's the exit to the cinema. So that was Journey into the Far West. I'm gonna quickly stand under the shade here because it's so hot. So you kind of join this uh, main star character. He's not really anything, he's just kind of a, a, a human, if you will. Uh, looks like a little kid and you have this ball in your hand and you go through the Wild West. It's a little bit more futuristic. You've got uh, like robot looking pigs on bikes that come follow you either side and you go right the way through trails, you go on roller coasters, you go underground and then you finish off sort of um, in a luscious green area and when he takes a ball from you it turns out to be a little baby, which is lovely, which is actually lovely. But that is one of the very, very few cinemas where the whole platform uh, moves. So it's one of the ones where you sit on the chairs on the platform, the platform rocks backwards and forwards. I don't think we've been on one of those since we went to Port Ventura, to be honest with you. And I have to be honest, I'm not sure of ones that are in the UK, but if you do find, you do know another one, let me know. It's one where you have to strap on. I completely understand after going on the 1.1 meter height restriction. That was incredible. Really, really, really enjoyed that. So we're now going to head to uh, back to the exit. We're going to have a look in the gift shop because we love a good gift shop, love a good branded item. And yeah, see what's next. So that was Robin Hill Theme Park, Robin Hill Country Park. It's the first time without a doubt that I've been to this place. And I have to say, I'm really, really impressed, really thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, you know, it's not your traditional theme park. It's certainly one of the bigger parks that the Isle of Wight has to offer. And uh, this and Black Gang China are the large ones. 
just gonna move over to the shade because it's really hot over there. But that was honestly, that was amazing, amazing fun. Now there's no doubt about it, that if you uh, live on the Isle of Wight, you would definitely benefit from a season pass. And the reason being is that, you know, you can come in here, it's fairly peaceful on off-peak day, even though it's Saturday, because it's not school holidays, because people aren't on holiday, checking out, checking in. Um, you know, it's quiet. You can bring your dog here, you can bring your family here, and really make the most of it. I think it was 63 pound for a season pass, which, you know, on the scheme of things, when you think all oh, foot part 49 pounds, you know, there's so many big rides and things there. But there's a little bit more to this part. You know, you have got a couple of rides. You can get a gold pass for the toboggan all year round as well, which, yeah, I could sit on that all day, sit on that all day long. But the landscaping, the, you know, the natural beauty, the staff have been absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So that's my first trip to Robin Hill, and I have to say, if I come back to the Isle of Wight again, well, I will come back to the Isle of Wight again. Next time we come back to the Isle of Wight, I should bring the kids here, and that is definitely a stop. That's a bock and run. It's got me itching now. It's got me itching to go and find some more in the UK. We know they're around and uh, we're going to have to go and find some. But from Robin Hill, my name's Adam. This has been UK Theme Parks and we'll see you next time.